What's up everyone, it's the Wizard Lizard here and today I'm going to show you how to tame the Kentrosaurus. So the Kentrosaurus is a knockout tame. As you see here, it's quite hard to knock out as they are an aggressive creature. So it should be knocked out by now. The, the Kentrosaurus's preferred food is vegetables or any vegetable at all or berries and the kibble the Kentrosaurus eats is the compi kibble. So it's quite easy to come across if you're like a kibble farmer and stuff so it'd be easy to do it. Just gonna add some more, more carrots in. The Kentrosaurus can be found around the uh, grassy areas of the map. So like on the island is like to the northern grassy areas near the redwoods. Well, near the volcano and stuff. But they can also be found in the centre map on the jungles north and jungles south and they can be found in the mountain area on the scorched earth. So the Kentrosaurus is like a relative of the Stegosaurus, but they're smaller, more bulkier. But to be honest, I think they're like a portable spike wall, as they're that good. As a wild creature, they're like aggressive towards you, and they come like twos, and they get a pack bonus as well. So if you get attacked by one, you'll get attacked by another, and they'll do extra damage towards you. Also, the Kentrosaurus has a terrifying attack which they can like, grab, actually latch onto a dinosaur with the back tail, which I'll show you later. You can tame them and they'll be like, very useful for like, a guardian, as they do like, extra damage and stuff. I'm just going to add a few extra berries in to make sure the taming process goes through cleanly because it takes a bit of a long time to tame the Kentrosaurus for some reason probably just how it is once tamed though you can damage walls which are thatch and wood only and also they get carried by the Quetzal, the Wyvern and the um, Giant Squid I'm just going to get my Quetzal here ready, for, just prepped and ready to take him back to my base later if you do find this guide useful please give it a like comment if you found it useful and um, what guide would you like to see next and share the video around. So the Quetzal's here, I'm just going to probably skip on later and I'll see you like, when the Kentro is just about to be tamed because I think the tamed process will be a long time. So yeah I'll cut back and I'll see you all in a bit. Okay and we're back and the Kentrosaurus has almost been tamed. Just gonna wait for it to eat his last few bits of berries. Should be that long now. It unfortunately ran out of carrots and had to defend off from a few like pests in order to get it tamed. So the Kentrosaurus is up probably one of my favourites coming out in this update. Because they can provide such a big boost for PvP. And PV as well. Look, they can actually latch on to like, your enemies and just hop, like, swing them around and give them a, ble a bleeding effect. So we've got our Kentrosaurus tamed, as it is. So it is in all his glory. It's quite a small creature, small and stocky compared to the Stegosaurus. I'm going to show you how like, what it does. They're like, quite a slow mover. I'm going to show you the combat system for the Kentrosaurus, if we can find any enemies around here. We'll probably have to wait a bit of a time because they're quite a slow mover. Right, is there anything around here? See, they're not really slow mover. But what the make up for speed, like you can do in damage. To be fair, they're like a tank. There's a deal for saw. Just punch it, get it aggroed. Get ready to fight our Kentrosaurus here. So right, here we go, the battle's about to begin. You see it latches on to the Dilphosaur. This gives, gives it a bleeding effect as well. So it swings it around and bleeds it till it dies, which is very useful to be fair, if you're not know, fighting off raptors or something. And it's like, almost dead in instant. So I personally recommend when you pump stats into your Kentrosaurus, I think you should pump stats into health and melee damage to be fair because they're the best ones so 
if you want a portable spot wall, you need to soak up the damage as well and to deal damage. So half and melee damage is what I recommend. And basically that's what we all have time for now. This is the Kentrosaurus in all its glory. I hope this guide has been really useful for you all. Please like and share it if you found this guide useful. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.